I found this boarded up house that I'm gonna paint today for James Gurney's Paint an Abandoned House Art Challenge. One of the things with this art challenge was to use limited palette. So these are the colors that I'm gonna be using. And since this is an architectural building, I need to be extra careful with my measurements. And I noticed that the long side of the house is about a third of the division. So I'm marking that out on the canvas using my uh, palette that I use for my oil paints as a straight edge so that I can get a little bit of uh, cleaner lines. And uh, here's the sketch finished. So I'm gonna put out um, more paint on the palette other than just that red and I'm using this moist paper towel to help keep the acrylic paint moist for a longer painting period. I think right now my strategy is just going to be to kind of wash in the general colors and capture the, um, the different colors and tones of the building. And then I'll come in over the top of it with more opaque paint. As I'm painting, some friends came to watch me paint. I don't think they were all that impressed with what they saw, but I was only in the middle of the painting, so Hopefully things will get better. It really is testing my observation skills and I'm trying to get my colors accurate, my tones accurate, and go in for some of these details like the window here. With the colors that I have, it's interesting the different shades and temperatures of color that pop out and I kind of like that I did the underpainting with this alizarin crimson because those little hints of red popping out kind of give a romantic feeling to the painting, I find. I have to observe these little details like the balcony and the crumbling stairs and trying to capture those in. It's kind of hard to paint something that's white but in shadow. After adding some foliage, this is the finished piece that I had. I really enjoyed doing this art challenge and uh, it was really a lot of fun. If you made it this far in the video, please give this video a like and uh, consider watching one of these other videos. And remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. See you next time.